Please be seated. In the Old Testament reading for today, the Lord God promises Abraham that his descendants will be as numerous as the stars in the sky. The scripture states, and he took him outside and said, now look toward the heavens and count the stars if you are able to count them. And he said to him, so shall your descendants be. In itself, that is an amazing promise. And then when we take into account that Abraham and his wife were childless, that makes this promise even more amazing. Yet Abraham accepted the word of the Lord as the truth. And the scripture goes on to say, Then he believed in the Lord, and he, meaning the Lord, reckoned it to him as righteousness. Three years ago, when we left the old parish to go forward in the Lord, we did not know that our journey would lead us to the Beach Movie Theater. How many folks knew that? Nobody. And here we are. <laughs> it was only after we believed in the providence of the Lord to take care of us that we had the courage to step out in faith. You might know the story, I'll just go through it briefly, was the Lord spoke to me in prayer months before I told anyone, even my husband, because I knew he would say, okay, let's go now. <laughs> but I told the Lord, I'm not going by myself. <laughs> you, you tell the remnant there, <laughs> after you talk to the remnant and told them it's time to go, and they tell me, then we'll leave. <laughs> I promise. So then a few months later, the remnant came to me and said, it's time to go. We're leaving. You want to come along? <laughs> so we left. <laughs> you know, and that's how it is, is that we, we didn't know we were going to be coming here. And our dear friends at the Beach Methodist took us in for temporary shelter. And during that during that first few months there, we were only there, we moved in in August, and then even then we saw that since we're meeting on Saturday nights that the seasonals were coming and, and it became clear that we needed to look for a place where we could meet on Sundays. Even though I kind of liked sleeping in on Sunday mornings. <laughs> and I know that some of you at home watching us are still enjoying sleeping in on Sunday mornings. <laughs> But um, the Lord had other plans, and, and so then he brought us here, and our first year here during most of that year, we had full access to this entire building. It was like a Christmas present, and it was so exciting. If you all remember that, we had pictures of uh, Christian movies in the uh, big places where they put the movie theater posters. We had pictures of uh, Christian movies, uh, the Ten Commandments as well as the passion <laughs> so in the tale in the in the lion the witch in the wardrobe for narnia so we had all kinds of fun that first year and but that was not to last and the theater started up again and so this year with an increase in attendance and giving we made another step in faith and we started setting aside funds for a place of our own for those of you who don't come early, you might think this is all magic, <laughs> but there are the those who show up extra hour early, extra hours early to set all this up, and and it'd be kind of nice to have a place of our own where we could leave it set up. <laughs> and so that day will come, and so we're now we're setting aside funds for that, and this too has been a step of faith as we continue to follow our Lord. In all of these things, we've trusted completely in the Lord with every challenge that we've had. We've put our faith in Him saying, Okay, Lord, we don't know the way, but you know it, so show us the way. And knowing that the very existence of our parish is the Lord's doing. And just as Abraham believed in the Lord's promise and 
it was counted unto him as righteousness, so too I believe our belief in God's command for us to set out on this journey and then following the Lord step by step by step has counted unto us as righteousness. Yet it is not our righteousness upon which we are grounded. For the scriptures tell us our righteousness is, is as filthy rags. But we stand in the righteousness of Christ Jesus, who gave us his all for us that we might make this journey of faith. And just as Abraham lived to see the birth of his son Isaac, so too have we lived to see the formation of this parish. Abraham did not live on earth long enough to see his descendants become as numerous as the stars in the heavens. And so too, not all of us will see the fullness of Christ's plan for St. Raphael's by the Sea Anglican Church. It is the Lord who has birthed this parish into existence. And we who have been here from the beginning years, we've had the joy of of seeing St. Raphael's by the Sea become a living, breathing parish made up of members that are seeking to know Christ and to know Him better and in turn willing to share Christ with others. In the New Testament, in the reading today from Hebrews, we are given several examples of those who chose to follow the Lord in faith. And each of these people live not according to their circumstances, but in faith of God's promises to them. And because they trusted in God to bring to pass all that he had promised them, that was why God counted their faith as righteousness. And of these saints, the author of Hebrews writes, all of these died in faith without having received the promises, but from a distance they saw and greeted them. They confess that they were strangers and foreigners on the earth, for people who speak in this way make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land that they had left behind, they would have had opportunity to return. All of us here have had opportunities to return back to where we came from, but we have chosen to go forward. And the scripture goes on to say, but as it is, they desire a better country that is a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Indeed, he has prepared a city for them. Well, our story is not recorded in the Bible. Our labor is not in vain. We too journey on earth in faith, following the Christ to reach the city of God, our eternal home. And in our journey already, others have joined with us. Today, Randy joined us to help us out so that my husband and I can go and celebrate our daughter's marriage and bridal shower and all those good things. And thank you for that, Randy. We appreciate it. And you can come back every Sunday. <laughs> I know you have other places, but we love having you with us. So I just want to let us remember that in our journey that there's also been those who have uh, chosen to take different paths. They walked with us for a time and then they left to walk somewhere else. And God's peace be with them. And still others have already reached the eternal home that awaits all who walk by faith in Christ. And while we have mourned their loss, we have celebrated their gain and their joy. For we too remain, who remain here, we press ever forward in the continued hope of what is yet to come. In the gospel reading for today from Luke, Jesus encourages his followers to remain faithful in doing the work of the Lord. Jesus states, be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will fasten his belt, have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. And if he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. Although we labor here on earth as slaves for the Lord, our Lord dwells in heaven. And one day, though, our Lord will return to earth. 
Those who have been faithful in continuing the work of the Lord will be rewarded for our labors. Yet we do not know the day or the hour when the Lord will return. In Paul's time when he was writing his letters, he thought the day of the Lord was any day. And that's how the church has always remained in a state of he's coming any moment now because the Lord told us to always be prepared. Yet the day of the, so the day of the Lord may be today. It may be tomorrow. Or it may be far into the future. And because the time of the return of Christ is uncertain does not mean that his return is uncertain. For we know that Christ will return. He has promised to come back and to gather up those who remain faithful in him. And so we have believed his promises and we look with joy for his return. To the faithful, Jesus said, in my Father's house are many dwelling places. If it were not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. So let us not grow weary in doing the work of the Lord. Folks, our journey has just begun. I know some of us have lived on earth a while and we think, what? What do you mean our journey has just begun? <laughs> our journey here at St. Raphael's by the Sea has just begun. For we're, only, we're celebrating the first three years of following the Lord's calling and establishing this parish for His glory. And there's still so much more work to do and many more people to reach. And while the task may seem daunting to us at times, we know that we are not alone, for the Lord is walking with us. His Spirit is with us each step of the way. This parish belongs to Christ. And some of you have called me your leader, but I am the Lord's servant. It is Christ who began this parish, and He is the one that we follow. Christ holds the blueprints for St. Raphael's by the sea in His hands. And we are privileged to be chosen to do his work. So whether we meet the Lord face to face in death or in the air when he gathers up his beloved, may he find us always being faithful to him because it is for his glory that we labor and not our own. Happy anniversary.